Hi guys, in this lesson I will show you some practical examples when working with blocks in your Ruby programs. Now let's let's start. First I'm going to create uh, the program we are going to create is a very basic program that it's for create a letter. So we'll we'll create a letter and use blocks and I will show you how. So let's click let's create a class let's create a class call letter okay let's create our, our initialize method okay here we are with our initialize method so we're we're going to get the the title of the of the letter at first then we create initialized on an array of lines that will be the lines of our letter um lastly we are going to call this outline method that i haven't created yet but we are going to use it very short um okay so add an uh, attribute accessor to our title to our title okay so here we have our attribute accessor for our title now let's create our outline definition or outline method so here we have our def outline so what we're going to do in our outline is to ask for new line to for the letter and add each line to the lines array so let's do it okay so here we have our outline method so what it's doing is going to ask us a line a new line um, so first uh, we get the line with the through the console and if it's a blank line we just get outside and return nil for or get outside of the while loop remember nil is like a false value so when when the while receives nil here it's going to get outside of the loop also uh, if the if we add something to the line we just add the line to the lines array and return the line. So let's get let's get this running by instantiating of our letter class. So it wants to letter let's do. Now let's run with our, our Ruby interpreter. blocks and letter example okay what is the title of the letter so the title is hello world add a new line so let's uh abc and if we add a blank line so we just type enter we get outside of it that's it so well here we are not using blocks yet but Let's do it something different here. So let's print all the lines of the read of the letter using our own each method. So let's create a method called each. What we are going to do here is to make an each to the lines array. But let me show you what we are going to do here. Here we are going to pass block. Oh, sorry so each has each is method if you remember from our arrays stage is method of every array so it can receive the parameter that's going to be yield I mean uh, line we can give it any name we want and then we are going to yield that line so this this can be something some something confusing but let, let me show you how it works so once we uh, end to to create the lines of our letter so we we can just make something like this we can call the letter call our each method this method right here so it's going to make an each to each line of the letter 
and it's going to yield that each line so we can modify the, the way the line is printed so what's going to do to be here is that we we are going to pass a block here we receive the parameter line that is this one right here and we are just going to let's print the, the letter title before each line so we just tap here and what we're going to print here is the, the letter letter title okay we have here the letter title and then after the brackets we're going to print the line okay so here we have so let's let's make it work and see what happens hello world hi and goodbye and blank line to exit ah here you have so here we have each line printed with the title in brackets we take to have the letter in, in, in brackets so let me show you or let me explain to you how is this working so here we have our letter that is the, inst the, the, inst the instance of the of the letter class so we have an each method here so we just we first create the letter and create its lines then we make an each we call the each method we created here and then we uh, call the lines array and call it each method you know each is a method of every array that goes to every item of the array and if you do not remember I you can go to my previous videos and look for the array stage and remember this okay so then the each method receives a block so usually when we make an each here we could make the puts right here and make the type the print the title right here and make the same as we did here but how we are learning and we want to understand how what blocks worked we just made something different and we what we did was to yield the line so this is the parameter of the block each for the array lines and we call the block I mean we yield to this block we passed here to the each method that we have here and we get we pass the parameter line to this block and then we print it instead of printed in the in the class itself we print it outside of the class in the instantiation so that's it now let's let's make another example let's create a benchmarking example so I'm going to create a file here called benchmark sample.rb and uh, let's open it so what we're going to do here is just a benchmark so let's create a class called benchmarker and then let's create a, a class method for this called go we're going to receive how many times we want to run by default it's going to be one and we're going to receive block two then we're going to print in a message saying that benchmark started Okay, and we're going to grab the time, the current time, let's print the current time we grabbed, okay, and 
not sprint some line breaks here. Just for make some space here. So let's call the tight method over the integer we received in how many how many times do Okay, so let me explain to you this part. So how many is an integer we receive uh, in the parameters <coughs> in the arguments of the method of the class method go. Okay, so we can call the times uh, me method over any integer for just make like something like a loop over um, the how many I mean over the, the integer so the times receives a block and the block is the num the, the actual number okay so if we receive the number if we how many is equals to number 10 for example this this block of code is going to run 10 times so that's why the function is called or the method is called times and we are going to call the block receive as parameter here so bring some spaces here grab the end the end time okay and print the, the end time Okay, it's okay. Print a message saying finished and print the result. And here we have our benchmark class. So, again. We receive how many times we want to execute a block of code we receive as argument here. So we just print a small message, we grab the start time, the current time, <coughs> we print it, and then we call uh, the how many and its times function that is going to print the times we receive here, and it's going to call a block of code and after it finished uh, the times it's going to grab the end time and it's going to tell us how many time or how many second, seconds it took for, for execute this block of code and let's call our benchmark let's call go and we're going to go five times then let's create a block Let's generate a random number between let's, time equals to to random number, and we're going to generate a number between zero point one and one point zero. I'll let Ruby sleep that time. So we call our class method here. We send the how many and we also send a block. This is the block. And we generate a random number between 0 0.1 and 1.0. And we was going to slip that time. So that's it's going to do to make to perform. As you can see here, five times this block of code, and it's going to tell us how many time it took for execute this, this block of code. So let's save this and run it. So let's call a Ruby interpreter. Let's say a Ruby blocks uh, <coughs> benchmark. Okay, we just called uh, but the class name. So benchmarker dot go um, five. Then we shall see it running. And of course, don't forget to add the def keyword here in order to create a function. Okay, so here we have our class function. We define it with the self, as you remember in the class functions in the methods stage. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. 
okay great so we run this five times as you can see five these five dots okay so here is the start time and here's the end time um, we just make a subtraction here and we know uh, how many seconds this block of code took for execute so inside of this uh, like loop kind of block using the times uh, method of the integers so we can make a, ta um, <clears throat> a kind of a loop here and we are calling the block this block generates a random number and we make uh, Ruby to sleep the time the number the random number we generate here and this takes some time um, where we are calculating is the time it took so this is another way of use blocks so you can create benchmarks and everything so basically as we can see here our block up called to 2.006 and every no, zero what every, whatever seconds so almost two seconds in execute five times this block of code that's what it's saying our benchmarker class so well that's it remember we this is the last video of the lesson I mean of the stage and of course we have a short quiz where you will practice the concepts learned in this stage about blocks in Ruby so don't forget to take it the the link is below this video in the description or here in an annotation of the video just like right here and as always don't forget to follow me on twitter as bastian Volandia. follow us on twitter as race karate and on facebook as race karate too Keep an eye on racecarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video and all of our quizzes. Subscribe to our channel for help us to keep going with these courses and we're going to bring amazing content for you to learn about Ruby on Rails. So, see you next time.